Snapshot I, aka Paul Breach, is a 41 or 45 year old TikTok content creator who came to the spotlight after releasing a song about football player Jack Grealish during the 2022 Euros which made him a national meme. His cringy dances and monologues have left people perplexed at who this individual really is. And I'm not going to lie, before making this video I had no idea who Paul Breach was and upon further investigation I've been left with more questions than answers. In order to get a full perspective of Paul and his universe, we need to understand who these characters are. Apart from his Jack Grealish song and his cringy aura, Paul is known for getting a 16 year old pregnant when he was in his late 20s, having a face that resembles a slice of Tesco's finest breaded ham, getting lost in a field and having to be tracked down by a police helicopter, and allegedly liking and talking to underage girls on Instagram. He has over 300,000 followers on TikTok. Sophie is Paul's most recent ex, who he met through TikTok and tried to move in with her after three weeks of dating. All in all, the relationship lasted about two months and ended with Paul storming off TikTok and Sophie taking his hotel chocolate Belvedere hostage. Dating in this instant actually means one trip to Costa, one trip to Ikea to film a few TikToks and countless days spent lounging around Sophie's front room in his PJs and her slippers. Whilst at Sophie's, he began to clean out her cupboards, taking himself to quote, little Tesco's to buy some cleaning products. He also throws away letters on his life, which Sophie sees. He also stated publicly that they slept in the same bed together, which Sophie denies. The relationship ends and Sophie drives to his dad's to drop his stuff off. She said she sees nothing wrong with the alleged age gap, but agrees the behaviour is odd. Frankie is Paul's ex-ex-girlfriend of three weeks, the one before Sophie. They met through TikTok and she has since disappeared entirely from social media after becoming a victim of a fake Instagram profile created by Paul. On the 9th of January 2022, a user called Cableboss1 found the Instagram profile called The Old Blondie with a picture of Frankie and her child. The only person following the account was Paul. He was also the only person to have ever liked her only photo and commented on it. Sophie, his ex, proceeded to go on live and tell people about this account. Sophie goes off live for a bit and comes back and informs the viewers that Paul said that Frankie made the account herself, as she was getting hate. The fake Instagram of his ex was deleted shortly after Paul was questioned. An online investigator found photos on Instagram that Paul had liked. Some of these photos were young girls, 16 and 17, in their prom dresses and bikinis. It was shown to Sophie after they had split up, and she privately called him out on it. Paul said that he had only liked these photos as the young girl was a cancer survivor. Upon investigation, it was proved that the girl had no idea who he was, making the whole scenario even weirder. After the allegations against him, Paul decided that he needed a rebrand, and he changed his Instagram handle. He is now known as the Beauty Beyond the Eye. Leanne is now a regular on Paul's Instagram lives. She's in her early 20s and allegedly has a young child like his last girlfriend. She has also allegedly been asked numerous inappropriate questions from Paul. Paul was also recorded asking Leanne for pictures of her ex-boyfriend. Can you send me? Because you're good at this. Can you send me? Send to me some of Leanne's boys. What, man? Yeah. Give green shot to someone for me. Yeah. Send me. On the 17th of July 2022, a TikTok user by the name of My Name's Boo 1.0 uploaded a TikTok video to speak about Paul and the similarities between her ex-partner and Paul. Boo was apparently groomed by their ex-partner at 16, while he was 27, the same age as Paul and the mother of his child when she fell pregnant. Paul didn't like this and has made numerous comments against Boo and has responded with this after watching their video. On the 16th of August 2022, Boo uploaded proof to TikTok of a message she received from a 15 year old girl to say that Paul had messaged her earlier in March of this year. It said I was taking a break last night and I was going to and then I got this message and it knocked me fucking sick. Um, essentially a minor has contacted me to let me know that Paul was messaging them because they were sick and this is the second time we have seen him do something similar. Allegedly he was also messaging a girl who had cancer and liking their photos. I then went and did a bit of due diligence before responding to the messages to make sure I wasn't being had and the post is legit. You can tell she's a child in the post because she mentioned school. Obviously this kid's got a good head on her shoulders because she blocked him straight away and knew not to respond. She also then went and checked her archive on her story and had posted photos of herself in her school uniform that day that Paul had viewed so he knew she was a child. On the 19th of August 2022, also known as Toegate, Paul and Sophie recently got back together and had a trip away to London. Paul uploaded a photo of Sophie on Instagram with her toes out and the internet went wild for their appearance. This caused Paul to have a meltdown on Instagram, calling everyone out and deleting photos of Sophie and going private. The ongoing relationship has some people calling them the TikTok version of Glenn and Jeffrey Epstein. On the 23rd of August 2022, 
a Reddit user posted in the Paul Breach Snark subreddit, a place where investigators give evidence and weigh in on their opinions on Paul. The Reddit user wrote an open appeal to Paul, stating, My understanding is that you read these comments, so I'd like to address you directly. Between the ages of 13 and 16, I was influenced by a man much older than myself. To me at the time, it was almost an obsession. I didn't understand why I was being encouraged, brainwashed and controlled. You may feel you're being targeted unfairly, and I'm not going to hurl abuse at you. I'm trying to make you realise that for those of you who have been through any form of abuse, the main thing is to protect protect and stop anyone else from being at risk. I don't care about rumours, but I'm appealing to you to listen to those who have come forward. Take their concerns seriously and act to protect your followers and yourself from further ridicule. Other commenters online have stated, This guy wants female validation so fucking much. Before he posts, he definitely goes, Yeah, these chicks will love this one. He gave up on his job to do social media full time. I think Paul forgets that he's still got another 25 years before he retires. That's 25 years where no one will employ him because of his actions on social media. The problem is, he genuinely thinks he can make a career out of this. But all his views are us lot watching this train wreck. He treads a very thin line between legal and moral, doesn't he? I've spent this morning phoning up my union and seeking legal advice. And for that, I will have to spend a bit of money, but I will go down the route of legal side of things because I've never said, don't take the piss out of me. I've never said that it's not a joke, you can banter, you can mimic me, you can do that stuff. But it's gone beyond any of that with some of the disgusting, heinous things that some of you think you have the right to say about me. So I will be going down the legal side of things to see what happens because you cannot get away with what you're saying. You can take a piss, you can have a laugh at my expense, you can not like me. But some of the stuff that you say, unfounded, is unjustifiable and basically wrong and like defamation of someone's character. So I will be going down the legal side of things and we'll see what comes out of that. The police are already aware and there is already a file at the moment with lots and lots of information in it for the time when something may change on social media. The further and further you investigate this individual, you have no idea what's actually going on. There seems to be a general consensus of confusion between everyone involved or engaged in this saga. As for the allegations, it seems to me that there's some kind of mental instability and a couple of screws loose with that guy. I hope he gets some help for the sake of everyone, especially the alleged victims. Thank you so much for watching this video and your support recently, it really means a lot to me. Make sure you like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram, at FatMemo.